Christ comes back. Read it again. And it shall come to pass in that day come on. that the Lord shall set his hand again the, the second Lord, time. The second time. The Lord shall set his hand the again the second the time. Lord. When was the first time, brother? We were delivered out of Egypt. That was the first time. Now the Lord is saying he wants to set his hand again a second time. You understand? A second time. We hold that and go back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. Oh, where you at? You understand? So the Lord said he's going to set his hand a second time. That's what we wait, wait, we're waiting for. That's what we, we're keeping the commandments for. That's why we're trying to have faith in the Most High for Because we know that that's right around the, the corner. See, a sister like that, she got to be taught. She needs spiritual brain surgery to be brought back to the Most High. Read that again, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28, 68. Read that. De Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Again with ships. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord shall bring us into Egypt, meaning slavery, again with ships. Go back to Isaiah 11, 11. Read that. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. Come on. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. In that day. Come on. That the Lord shall set his hand the second time. A second time. And Deuteronomy said we would go into slavery again a second time, but this time with ships. The Lord is saying in this modern day Egypt, the Lord is going to set his hand again the second time to deliver us out of Egypt. You understand? First time was with Moses. Read again from the beginning. And it shall come to pass in that day, the Lord shall set his hand again the second time. The second time, come on. To recover the remnant of his people. To recover, recover the remnant of his people. Why is the Lord saying to recover the remnant of his people? What's that? How do you hear you? What's left? What's left of us? And we were scattered. You understand? But he said what he's going to do. Come on. We shall be left. From Assyria, come on, and from Egypt, come on, and from Pathros, and from Pathros. He's naming all the places where we are scattered, come on, and from Cush, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Elam, come on, and from Shinar, and from Shinar. So he's naming Arab areas, he's naming African areas, come on, and from Hamath, and from Hamath, come on, and from the Isle of the Sea, and from the islands of the sea, even the West Indies and different parts of the seas. Man. Listen, this is a beautiful chapter, brother, because. You got, you got books tells you, that's white scholar telling you that the Isle of the Sea, he's talking about the Caribbean islands. White scholars, man. There's a book, um, the book uh, 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 had, tells you that the Isle of the Sea, talking about the Caribbeans, right. where the Jews are scattered. Right. So this book is, the book is, the Bible, the Bible is Bible, real, man. Put the Bible together the right way, man. You yeah. can't get around it. Yep. You understand? You can't get around that. You understand? Read that part again. Good. Good. Wow. Okay. And from, and from the Hamath, right. and from the Isles of the Sea. From the Isles of the Sea. Right. Come on. And it shall set up an ensign for the nation. The ensign is the Bible. Yeah. And the prophets and the men teaching the Bible and what the prophets wrote there. And it shall set up an ensign for the, for the people so they can know where the truth is at. And so the Spirit can bring them back to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Christ, who in the Hebrew name is Yahweh Shah. Come on. I shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. So when you when you put together a, a bicycle, when you're putting together a TV set, you're assembling it. The Lord said he shall what? Assemble the outcasts of Israel. He shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. Why? Because the outcasts of Israel were scattered into the four corners of the world. Drop that go to James 1 and 1. You understand? The outcasts of Israel were scattered all over the world. So we know that the white man who's calling himself a Jew, that don't fit him. You understand? That only fits us. It don't fit the white man who's calling himself a Jew. James verse 1 verse 1. Um, when the brother said, when they said uh, the house that's in Israel, right? You got the ten, the northern kingdoms, those, those were the ones that were scattered first, okay? The northern kingdom is, is the, the Dominican, the Panamanian, Puerto Rican, all the way down to the Mexican. And it, then when they said it, the, birth, the birth of Judah, is Judah, Black American, Benjamin, and Levi, that's the second tribe that was scattered later on during the time of the Babylonian, when we came to America slaves and so forth. A lot of the Israelites, the northern kingdom, the southern kingdom, might go up into Europe later and join their brother, which is the, the, the dispersed of Israel that was scattered. You got that book with um, the brothers in the island? You got that with you today? Um, no, uh, it's called, I'll bring it next week. Okay. But it's called the um, Trip of Columbus and the Jews and the participation of the Spanish and Portuguese discovery. And it's telling that the, 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 the islands, it's talking about the Western Islands, the Caribbean. Right. Read that about James 101. So you can't refute this. Right. I mean, it's yep. clear. You understand? Stevie Wonder can see this, brother. Or Ray Charles. This is clear, brother. You understand? But now, if you're walking around spiritually blinded, and you into religion, and you into uh, 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 what the white man, the white woman gave you, then you're not going to get the truth. You understand? But the truth is in the Bible. That's how we know the Bible is accurate and real. And they can come to us and say, well, the is the word of God, the book of the dead, or the book of Egypt. 
theology. Those are the true uh, books of uh, spirituality. We know not to follow those things. We know that the Bible is the word of God. Read that James 1 and 1. Check this out. James chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. To the ten, twelve tribe who we were scattered abroad. Read. See that? So James and the prophets, they knew the Jews were scattered abroad. Now our job is to what? To gather them back to the most high. One more time. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. to the twelve tribes which were scattered abroad. Read, read it. To the twelve tribes, Isaiah 49, verse 5. To the twelve tribes which were scattered abroad. Read it. So we don't say in twelve tribes. They're scattered in all parts of the world. Through the YouTube and uh, 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 the internet, the Lord is using that, something that the white man created, to bring his people back to the Most High. The white man, he don't even know what he's doing. The Most High controls all the actions of the white man, even the wicked. Understand? And once I put the spirit of the white man to create the uh, YouTube or the internet or Google to get this word out even faster. Check it out real quick. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 5. Come on. And now said the Lord, that formed me from the from the womb. So the Lord he gave a mission to Isaac, just like he gave a mission to us, that created him from the womb, come on, to be to be to be his servant, to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. See that? Read that again. To bring, to be his servant, come on, to bring Jacob again to him. You're Jacob. This is Jacob right here. To bring Jacob back to the Most High, but not to through Islam, not through Buddha, not through the white man's school, not through Americanism or being a Democrat or a Republican. Through the Bible. One more time from the beginning, brother. Good. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 5. Come on. And now, said the Lord, come on. that formed me from the womb. That formed him from the womb. You know what that means? Before you even born, the Lord predestined you. Who's going to be a man in the Most High? Who's going to be a, a teacher of the Most High? Who's going to serve the Most High? The Most High has it all written down before you even born. Come on. To be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. To bring Jacob back to him. Come on. Though Israel be not gathered. See? Read that again. Though Israel be not gathered. Lord said, though Israel be not gathered. Come on. Yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord. Yet shall he be glorious in the eyes of the Lord. You understand? And we're going to be glorious in the eyes of the Most High. We're going to be glorious in the eyes of the Most High. Get go to Isaiah 34, 16 now. You understand? So it's about learning the word, teaching the word to our brothers and sisters who the Lord wants to hear this word, and condemning the wicked and establishing the truth. The white man ain't going to give you the truth. The white woman ain't going to give you the truth. Well, they were set up on earth to play the part of the devil. You understand? And that's what we got to get in our minds. We got to accept well, the fact that these are not our people. Brother. We should not associate with these people unless we have to through work or being cordial in certain situations. Other than that, the truth got to come out. Read that real quick, brother. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Come on. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Read it again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. That's what we do. The Lord says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord, which is the Bible, not the Quran. The Bible, not any book of the dead, but seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Come on. No one of these shall fail. And no one of these, meaning the prophecies, shall fail. So that's how we know the Bible is real. The Lord said, no one of the prophecies of the Bible shall fail. Come on. None shall want her man. And you can't make this book with any other book. The Bible stands on its own. That's God's word. Come on. From my mouth he had commanded. The Lord said, his mouth has commanded. Come on. And his spirit had gathered them. And the Spirit, the Most High Spirit, has not only gathered us, but the prophets to write down and teach the word of the Most High. But the Most High gathered the prophets to write down what he wanted to write down. Come on. Verse 17. Come on. And they have cast a lot for them. They cast a lot for them. Come on. And his hand have divided it unto them by line. So who did the Most High divide his spirit or his word upon? The prophets that speak in the Bible. Go to 2nd Ezra 14, 22. The prophets that wrote down the Bible. You understand? The Lord, he used the Spirit gather the prophets, he divided his word, who he wanted to teach what and write down what, among his prophets, and the things that were written four time, that it tells you in Romans, 15 chapter, third verse, the things that were written four time, is being taught today, for our benefit. Read that real quick. Second Ezra chapter 14 verse 22. Come on. But if I had found grace before thee, so Ezra said, if I have found grace before thee, Lord, come on, send the Holy Spirit unto me. See, send the Holy Spirit unto him. Just like the Lord sent the Holy Spirit unto the prophets of old to write down what's coming to pass now. Come on. And I shall write all that had been done in the world. Read that again. And I shall write all that had been done in the world Come on. since the beginning which were written in the law. See? So that's, that's what's happening now. Everything that was written from the beginning that the Lord put the Spirit on Ezra to write down is now coming to pass today. Take this. It's all coming to pass today. You understand? As a matter of fact, Hebrews 3.25. You understand? So what are some of the words that was that uh that, that Ezra wrote down or even Baruch? 
that was going to happen to us in these last days. The so-called black woman, the 